वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू हैरी पॉटर्स वीक डे वन बुक वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द हैरी पॉटर सीरीज हैरी पॉटर एंड द फिलोसोफर स्टोन देर आर सेवेंटीन चैप्टर्स इन दिस बुक इन दिस बुक आर प्रोटैगनिस्ट हैरी पॉटर इज लेफ्ट टू लिव विथ हिज अंकल वैन एंड आंट पिटोनिया डर्सली बिकॉज हिज पेरेंट्स हैड डाइड दे ट्रीट हिम लाइक अ सर्वेंट they have a son named dudley who is as nastier as them once harry receives a letter uncle and aunt scared harry will discover the contents of the letter burn the letter but next day more letters arrive this continues and so the ship to a hotel and then to a room on a rock that night on harry's 11th birthday A giant man called Dubious Hagrid came to visit Harry. Hagrid told Harry that he is a wizard. His parents were killed by a great dark wizard, Lord Voldemort. Harry was the only one who survived against Voldemort. Hence, he was known as the boy who lived as he was the reason for the downfall of the greatest wizard of all time. He then visits Diagon Alley where he buys his uniform books equipments had with the owl and wand He finds that he is so famous in the magical world Then at the King's Cross station he meets Mrs Weasley who helps him get to the platform number 9 and 3 quarters From her youngest son Ronald Weasley He gets to know about the Weasley family. The eldest son, Bill Weasley, works in Gringotts, Egypt. Gringotts is actually a bank where Harry had visited in Diagon Alley to get his wizarding money. Charlie, he studies in Romania about dragons. Percy Weasley is in fifth year and he is the prefect. Fred and George are the twins in third year and the youngest is the sister Ginny who will start at this Hogwarts school from next year at the Hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry Harry is selected in the Gryffindor house by the sorting hat out of the four houses named Gryffindor Hufflepuff Ravenclaw and Slytherin from next day he gets on with his classes He finds that his potions teacher Professor Snape was very cruel to him. Other teachers were the transfiguration teacher and head of the house Professor McGonagall, the herbology teacher Professor Sprout, the charms teacher Professor Flitwick, the history of magic teacher who was a ghost Professor Binns, the defense against the dark arts teacher Professor Quirrell. and the astronomy teacher professor sinistra in the first flying lesson a gryffindor fellow neville longbottom gets injured and a nasty slytherin boy draco malfoy takes away neville's remembrance a ball which turns red when you forget something neville had been given this ball by his grandmother harry tries to save it and is noticed by professor mcgonagall that he flies really well hence he becomes the smallest ever quidditch player in a century as he becomes a seeker in his gryffindor quidditch team quidditch is actually a wizarding game played on broomsticks draco jealous of him calls him to a midnight duel but does not turn up there and instead argus filch the caretaker turns up harry and ron Along with Neville and Hermione Granger, the fellow Gryffindors save themselves and find themselves a third floor corridor where they are bent. They find a three-headed dog and a trap door. Harry and Ron were still solving this mystery when they got to the dormitory. Soon, Harry gets the fastest broomstick for himself, Nimbus 2000, gifted by Professor McGonagall. Then. On the night of Halloween a troll gets inside the school and Harry and Ron save Hermione who was locked up in the bathroom as she was offended by Ron Now 
all three of them become great friends. Then Gryffindor Quidditch captain Oliver Wood teaches Harry the Quidditch rules and the game. In Quidditch match, Harry's balloon is jinged and that he is about to fall. Hermione is suspicious about Professor Snape and so she fires his cloak. After the match, they talk to Hagrid about the three-headed dog. Hagrid by mistake tells them about someone called Nicholas Flamel. They try to find about him but fail. At Christmas, Harry receives an invisibility clock as a gift. Through which he went to the restricted section of library but couldn't find anything about Nicholas Flamel. By hiding from Flinch, he gets to a mirror of a rice tent in which he sees his parents and his family. Albus Dumbledore, the headmaster, later explains that this mirror neither gives truth nor knowledge. It just shows what you want, what you desire. Now, Harry gets the name of Flamel from his chocolate frog card. They find about a philosopher's stone. They get to know that Fluffy, the three-headed dog, was guarding this. After the next Quidditch match, refereed by Snap, they talk to Hagrid about Flamel. Hagrid tells them he's got a dragon's egg. Every day they visit him until the egg hatches. Hagrid calls him Norbert. Norbert was a Norwegian bridgeback dragon. As it is illegal to keep a dragon, Ron advises to send it to Charlie at Romania. They write a letter to him. As Ron was injured by Norbert, Harry and Hermione reached the astronomy tower to give the dragon. Draco Malfoy warns McGonagall about it. Neville, coming to warn his fellow Gryffindors, too gets caught with them. Harry, Hermione and Neville get 50 points reduced from Gryffindor house. 50 points each. They also get detention at Forbidden Forest. There, Harry gets attacked by Voldemort's weak body and a censure which is half human and half horse, saves him. Now, Harry, Ron and Hermione go to Hagrid, thinking that if Hagrid wanted a dragon, he got it by luck. It must be fishy. They get to know that Fluffy sleeps by music. After the exam ends that night, when they reach there, music goes on. That meant someone has already gone past. For them, someone meant Snape. They thought that Snape must have given Hagrid this dragon's egg and has found out about Fluffy. They get through the trapdoor and find themselves getting trapped by Devil's Snare, a herb from which they escape through light. They then find several keys with wings. Harry, with the help of Broomstick, finds the correct one. Then they find Wizard Jess and Ron helps them get through it as he is very much expert in chess. Ron gets injured and Harry and Hermione get through. They find a troll unconscious. Then next, they find some potions. Through hint, Hermione finds the correct one from which she goes back and Harry, gives, and Harry gets the one from which he goes ahead. He is surprised to find that the man was not Snape, but Professor Quirrell. We find that Quirrell has two faces, one his own and the other of Lord Voldemort, which he had hidden through his turban. There the mirror was kept, the mirror of Erison. Quirrell asks Harry to tell what he sees. Harry finds in the mirror that the stone is in his pocket, and he checks to his in pocket to find that it is actually there. Harry lies about what he sees. When Quirrell tries to get him, he burns while touching Harry. Dumbledore later tells Harry that he couldn't touch him due to his mother's sacrifice for Harry, which is so powerful. All the friends visit him. At the end feast, Dumbledore awards Gryffindor extra points and Gryffindor wins house cup. Hagrid gives Harry an album of his parents' photo. And all of them return to their houses to celebrate the vacation and our story ends. 
Stay tuned tomorrow for the second part of Harry Potter. Thank you.